So uh, for our project, we did wine classification using decision trees. Um, as we know, wine has many classes, um, such as white wine, red wine, sparkling, uh, rosé, and each class differs from each other in terms of color intensity, uh, hue, ashes, the amount of alcohol, and et cetera. So for the present study, we generated two decision trees um, using the Gini index and the entropy value to classify three classes of wine. And lastly, we compared the accuracy and the uh, efficiency of the two trees that we generated. Um, in our study, there are a total of 178 samples. And the distribution of the samples is shown on the right. Uh, and the two measures that we used were the Gini impurity index, which measures the frequency of which each data point would be mislabeled, and also the entropy value, which measures um, the disorder of the attributes. And to conduct the uh, analysis, we also included a total of 13 wine attributes, which are listed here on the slide. So uh, moving on to analysis, um, all of the analysis were conducted in Python. And the main programs that we used were uh, decision tree classifier from sklearn. So we first split 70% of the data set into the training data, and then 30% of the data set into the testing data. Um, then we used decision tree classifier without any criterion to generate a decision tree uh, using the Gini index. And also the decision tree classifier with criterion equal to entropy to generate uh, the decision tree using the entropy value. So after we have obtained the results, we use the decision tree uh, to predict the wine classes of the testing data. Um, so this is the first tree that we generated using the entropy value. And as we can see from the slide, uh, flavonoids among all the attributes has the highest entropy value on the first iteration. Um, therefore, it is placed at the root node of the tree. And uh, as we move down the tree, um, the process will then continue for each impure node until the tree is complete. Um, so on the graph, we can see that the entropy value decreases um, for the leaf nodes and then um, goes to zero for the terminal nodes, um, which means that the specific nodes are pure at that point. So after we have established the tree, we use it to predict the wine classes of the testing data. And this particular decision tree was 96.3% accurate at predicting the classes of the testing data. And the time it used was 0 0.0004382 seconds. And this is the second tree that we generated using the Gini impurity index. Um, also similar to the previous uh, decision tree, uh, flavonoids also was placed at the root node because it has the lowest Gini impurity. And as we move down the tree, um, the process will continue for each impure uh, leaf node until the tree is complete. And on the graph, we can see that uh, similar to the entropy value, um, Gini index also decreases until they reach zero, which means that the nodes are pure. And after we have obtained the tree, um, we used it to predict the wine classes of the testing data. And this particular decision tree was 92.6% accurate at predicting the classes of the testing data. And the time it used was 0 0.0000024082 second. And the overall results showed that the decision tree generated using the entropy value was um, a little bit more accurate at predicting the one classes of the testing data. And the decision tree generated using the uh, Gini index was more efficient in its analysis, uh, meaning that it took less time. So for our study, um, due to the limited number of sample size, the difference in efficiency was not that significant. 
Um, however, if decision trees were to be used for a larger sample size, um, user, users should be more aware of the trade-offs between accuracy and efficiency. And here's the final poster uh, of our project. <laughs> 